dark green satin dress that complements her brown hair. The two insets in the front create a fuller skirt that allows more room for walking or dancing, while the spaghetti strap top keeps her cool on the dance floor. She's added a pair of sparkly gold shoes and her great-grandmother's necklace to complete her outfit. While working on this dress, she learned how to use boning and to sew those insets. And believe me, they are not easy. I've tried to do that myself, and it is not. She hopes to continue sewing as a hobby as she moves on to Missouri S&T as well. Amazing work, Annika. Your dress looks beautiful. I will hand you the microphone so the judge can talk with you about it. She's going to Missouri Science and Technology next fall. Hello again, Annika. Hello. Actually, that's, this is my passion. I love sewing. I loved sewing since I was in junior high, and I never had anybody teach me because my mom didn't know how. Who taught you how to sew? Um, a big part of it was my grandma because I used to go there every like spring break and I would sew something okay. starting when I was maybe six. But then I took a few years off, and since this was my last year of high school and I wasn't going on any like band or orchestra trips, I decided to make it my last year of going there and sewing at her house. Yeah, it's kind of fun, isn't it? Have that. I like that. I do that with my grandkids. We do one-on-one. -on -one. We do mostly quilts and wall hangings and things like that, but it's fun to do that. The only time we tried to make something was my one granddaughter was making pajama pants, and she had her head a little too close, and the hair got caught in the tank of lever of the sewing machine. She kept getting closer and closer. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the construction of your dress. I, you worked with boning for the first time. Tell me about that. Um, yeah, the boning was, from what I read, it was going to be really difficult to do, but my experience with it was it wasn't too hard. Um, it's just sew the casing for it and put it in. And the hardest part was probably like trimming it to exactly the right length and then like clipping the curve so it's not too pokey. Yeah, I'm sure, because that wouldn't be very comfortable. No. And I'm just by looking at your dress, I can tell that you've got nice, even seams. Do you finish your seams? Um, yeah, so most of them I finished uh, by just taking them, okay. and some of them, like the hem at the bottom, I've just folded over twice so that nothing is exposed. What kind of fabric is it? Um, it's a satin stretch. And do you know how to take care of that? Is it machine washable? Yeah, it is machine washable, which is one of the key things I was looking for, because I don't want to deal with dry cleaning. So it's machine wash cold and then just line dry. Okay, one thing that, and maybe I'm overlooking it, but how about cost? Um, it costs right around $62. Does that include or not include the pattern? Um, that includes the pattern. Because okay, sometimes that's an extra expense beyond that. Did you think, are there other things on this pattern that you would use, or is this kind of like a, a prom one-time thing? Um, it's mostly just a prom thing, but for me, the $62 is worth it. Just oh, absolutely. I'm not spending $200 to $500 on a dress that I wear once. I know, if I had a granddaughter go to Sharon, if I heard the right price, I don't want to hear it again. <laughs> so, and it makes a big difference how much you spend, especially when you consider that you probably are only going to wear it once. Yeah. Unless you have other special occasions that you will get to wear. Because you can actually dress that down enough that you could wear it again if you really wanted to. Yeah. The pattern came with a shawl too, so if it got cooler out, I could go ahead and sew that to go with it. Did you get to have prom? Um, ours got canceled, and I was supposed to have one this coming Sunday, but that also got canceled. Oh no. So there's like one other one I might go to. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I know a couple weeks ago, two, three of my grandkids got to have their prom. But they did it so totally different because it's not the school. They did a prom parade instead of a grand march because then the kids were all separated. The back ends of pickups. And, <laughs> and the other one's supposed to take place in another week. So we'll see if that one happens or not. But no, you've done a beautiful job, I can tell, by looking at the sewing on the dress. How many years have you been sewing? Um, well, I sewed a lot when I was younger, so two or three, maybe four years then, and I picked it up um, starting last year when I sewed my prom dress last year, Okay. and I've sewed three other dresses since then. So. Do you have your own sewing machine? Um, no, I just use my mom right now, so. <laughs> Does that mean you're going to 
take it with you when you leave and your mom doesn't get one? No, probably not. No. Uh, since I'm planning to play both soccer and in band, I probably won't have a lot of time. No, so. you probably won't. So, well, thank you very much. I really enjoyed watching your, looking at your outfit and knowing that somebody actually took that challenge of making their own prom dress. Awesome job. Thank you.